Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Got a little bit of a longer video because I bought SolidWorks and we're gonna be going over the different prices and different license and, and what they all mean, how you can get it. Uh, at the end, I'm also gonna be talking about if you're a startup company, how you can get it for free for a year, uh, as well as how you can trial the program without having to download it, just to kind of see how it works and, and see, just, just kind of fudge around inside. Uh, and also talk a little bit about the student license and how to acquire that. If you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and the bell to get notified whenever I post these sorts of videos. And I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about SolidWorks and also comparing them side by side with Fusion 360 and some other design programs in the future. So I'm really excited for having this program. So we're going to jump on right over. And I actually, first and foremost, you can see that this is sent to me by a company called Alinex. Um, there is no way to buy SolidWorks directly from SolidWorks. They go through sales reps. And so personally, when I acquired it, I went through this company. It just depends on where you're living um, for who that is. If you're not in the United States, I'm sorry, these prices will probably not reflect how much they cost in your own country, partially because of, finance, of um, currency exchange, but also they do charge different prices for different countries, which is really unfortunate. So for the first thing we want to cover, we want to cover term licenses. Term licenses are a rental license, if you will. Um, you only have it for the duration of the license. And so you have a three month period or a one year period. And you have three different tiers of a uh, program that you can get. So you have your standard, your professional, and your premium. So with the term license, for three months, it's $810. For one year, it's $2,700. And you get all of these features. I personally think the standard version for most people's needs are going to fulfill a lot. There are some things that I wish were there, such as simulations aren't included. Um, but for general building and modeling and assembling, you can do a lot with just the standard. Um, for the professional, Three months is $1,080. One year is $3,600. You obviously get everything from the standard. You do get the rendering program, PhotoView 360. I've personally not used it really because I have Keyshot. I, I use other programs for rendering. Um, but you can get more business um, features. And so you can get task scheduling. You can get a lot more with the drawing professional, parts costing, all sorts of different things there. And you also can see on the bottom it says annual subscription service is included. So if you do get a year license and then you want to go and do another term license the f next year, you'll get the next version up without having to pay anything for upgrading to the newest version. Premium, three th months is 1500 roughly. One year is 4825 You do get simulations and motions, which are really, really nice for animations. You also get more flattening capabilities for sheet metal. And sustainability is a really cool feature that they've added a couple years ago where you can actually look at how much manufacturing and shipping is going to actually be affecting the environment um, based off of the, the, just the restrictions you put on the part. If it's going to be manufactured in China or in the States or in South Asia or India or anywhere in the world, it's really a really cool feature. I've actually tinkered around with a little bit. Next, we're actually going to be talking about the standalone license. These are ones that when you download, it belongs to you and is on that computer permanently. Awesome. Um, one of the cons, though, as you can see, it's it's pretty expensive. So for a standard, it's $4,000. For the professional, it's $5,500. And for the premium, it's $8,000. All of the features are practically the same, so I'm not going to go over those. But we also have an annual subscription fee. And so if you want, you can buy it, have it on your computer. It's there for life. But if you want it to update every year to the next version, you do have a $1,300 cost for standard, $15 for professional, and $2,000 for premium. Um, you don't have to. You can opt out of it and just pay the $4,000 or whatever price you have chosen. Um, but let's say three years down the line, you're like, eh, I'd like to update. Um, if you want to just update it, you actually have to pay a backlog of the annual subscription fee so it's $1,300 times three. So at that point, you might as well, in my opinion, just buy another standalone. So that is the typical normal license and all of the pricing split up for you. Now, they also do have, like I mentioned before, they have their, come on, here we are. They have the 
entrepreneurs and startup solutions and ways that they are trying to help those areas. Um, you can get a free version of SolidWorks for a year as well as some other support. However, it has to first and foremost be a company that is manufacturing something, has to have a physical object. So I applied for this. I'm a consultant, I'm a designer, I'm an educator, I don't have a physical product, so I can't qualify for this. And anyone trying to do something similar can't qualify for it. And even if you do meet those qualifications, you still have to go through a, a application process, which is right here. And so they have a variety of different questions that you're going to ask you about your age and um, what the company is. Do you have a website? Where are you located? Um, contact information. What do you do? How do you know about SolidWorks? Where do you learn? All sorts of different things like that. And then you apply. Um, I've heard spotty things about its effectiveness. I, I personally don't know um, anyone that's using it, so I can't really say. Um, but they also have the standards right here and requirements, so most of them are pretty easy to meet, like making less than a million dollars um, in the early stage program. Has to be a company less than three years old, all sorts of different requirements. I'll have the link for this and all these others down below, uh, so definitely um, check those out if you want to. Lastly, if you want to be testing out SolidWorks, trying to see what it's just like to kind of play around with this actual program, they do have a... Um, what do they call it, a, a, like a build space or um, a trial environment is what they call it. And so it's online, you're not downloading it, um, but you can kind of play around and tinker in the program. But to do so, you do have to create a SolidWorks account and then log in, and then you can kind of play around. You can't download anything, you can't um, save anything, but you can play around with pre-downloaded files and see how to manipulate files and make a new file. But you can't save anything so it's, it's literally just a sandbox in a, in a way last of all uh, I mentioned that I would talk about student versions. student versions they don't really have anything written on here that I could find uh, but from personal experience typically there is a fee from your university they will actually go everything through the university so you can't acquire the license directly through a sales rep or through SolidWorks you have to go through your university and they'll have a, a gatekeeper if you will um, that will give you a license number and usually there's going to be some fee for your class that's going to pay for that license and that seat uh, and that's typically only a year long for me when I was in school is a hundred dollars a year um, but it's going to obviously depend on the university so that is it though that is all of the different ways you can acquire SolidWorks it's really really complicated there's lots of different methods but I figured it'd be something useful to talk about um, from my understanding, they have not raised the prices of SolidWorks since they started it back in, I don't know, the 70s, which is really cool. But saying that there are a lot cheaper options out there. And for people who are just learning how to 3D model, SolidWorks really, I don't think, is a great option. But there are some great and phenomenal things about SolidWorks, especially if you're going to be a company and moving forward um, into more of the manufacturing. And so it may be something you want to look into and call a sales rep and kind of work through um, the benefits a little bit more in depth for specifically what you're doing. But thanks again for watching. If you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. I'm really excited and keep on modeling.